ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமா ஹரியோ வெல்கம் பேக் டு த கிளாஸ் ஆஃப் நம்பர் சி டுவெண்டி சிக்ஸ் ஸோ ப்ரீவியஸ் கிளாஸ் வி ஹேட் சீ த ஹவு இஸ் த டிசைன் டன் ஃபார் அவர் கிராவிடேஷனல் பல் ஸோ டுடே வில் பி சீங் த கோடிங் பார்ட் ஆஃப் இட் ஸோ த ப்ரீவியஸ் கிளாஸ் ஐ ஹேவ் நாட் மென்ஷன் த ப்ராஜெக்ட் பிகாஸ் இட்ஸ் ஜஸ்ட் அண்ட் டிசைன் விச் யூ ஹேட் டு இட் So today's class, you will be able to complete the app so you can work on the project. Okay, one minute, I'll be sharing the screen again. so this is the design which you have done screen to is not required just push to display you i had done it so so need that now coming to our blog my basic thing which we need is variables so what is a variable which has the values which can be changed increased or decreased so here first we have to initialize the variables what is initializing a variable is we are saying we are creating a variable what are all variables we need <clears throat> so here you have to observe the changing things are your planets your planets are changing your objects are changing your gravity is changing your speed is changing so this many things are changing so for all these things you need variable come let's see how you are putting the variable you have to go to the variables option which you have initialized so in this one thing you are initializing is with the gravity so gravity is with respect to the planet so in the starting since nothing is been selected in the starting it should be zero so where you get zero it's from your map so from that you are getting it and attaching it to it okay next is the count why is the count required for the objects say now you have uh, 20 objects how will i say computer this object that object i cannot say. it is stuck so i'll give a count for each of the objects so i can say if i have to display a 18th object i have to just call 18 so that object will be displayed okay next the speed to display the speed according to the gravity i need a variable so i'm putting the speed and then i have a gravity calculator so what is gravity calculated is nothing but the gravity so g cal is nothing but the value which is calculated for the gravity then we have the planet count so why do we need planet count to count all the eight planets according So you need this, this many variables for it. Then next we have some more set of variable. Next we have a variable called list of planets where you have to put this many planets. So when you have to put more than two values, you will have to go to your list. and then because it is a list you will have to take this okay so you can be imagining how it has been increased that is because of your settings button so once you click on your settings button you can add how many number list you want items you want you can add them if you do want you can just remove so once you again click back on this blue button the thing would have been gone okay so that is how all the labels are being here so for that you'll go for your text and take this empty text and type it so one more thing advantage on your tangible here is whatever you see here it everything has this different colors so according to colors you can check with the label so here okay so i have written all the eight planets and then 
we have here an option called list of gravity. So you should be aware what is the gravitational gravity of that respective planet. You can always Google search to get the details. So what I do, I give respective like this is Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. So that respective values of gravity. So this completes the gravi uh, variable space. Next part. So once the screen one opens, where is your screen one? Over here, when you scroll down, you'll be able to see the screen one. Okay. Once the screen one opens, that is once the screen is loaded, what and all has to be done? It has to be done in there. So what I'm doing, once it is done, the planet count will have to increase by one. Because in the starting, it will be zero, variable created. You have to increase so that it comes to Mercury. So now the Mercury comes into the field. So Mercury gravity is what? 3.7. So the value of gravity becomes 3.7. What is the formula of a speed? It's nothing but square root of gravity square into the distance. What is it? Square root of gravity square into the distance okay to make it simplize we have a variable called g calculus what is that gravity calculus so this gravity that is 3.7 into 2 that will be in g cal and that one if you have to calculate the speed it is nothing but root of where are you getting all these things you would get it in your path Now you can choose. You have zero, you will have square. You have e power, ten power, and everything. Today we just need the uh, square root, so we take it from square root and whatever the g calculate is there into 10,000. Here the distance we are taking a constant because we are not placing an object somewhere else. So we are keeping a constant distance that is 10,000. So this gives us, uh, what to say, uh, decimal points. So to display decimal points or huge decimal points, it will be difficult. So we are creating a round. So what is round? It will create a round. So if it is 5.4326 like that, it will say 5.43. Okay. It rounds up. So that is the speed which you will get. So that speed you display it to your speed label and the planet label you are placing it as Mercury. Gravity which is there is selected as your gravity. That is 3 points. So it will show the speed value over here. Mercury and the gravity of that and the sprite 2 image. Remember your planets are your sprite 2, objects are your sprite 1. Uh, sprite 2, where do you get in your canvas, you have looks. So you have sprite image where you have to do it, you'll do it. Okay, number of image 2. Whatever is the count. So count because each time you click the count increases. I'll show you that. As it increases, that variable the planet has to come up. We are putting that variable here. So this is how once the screen one is open, your gravity and the speed and everything will be displayed according to your work. Here. So what does sprite one do? When I click on sprite one, that is my object. So as soon as, soon as I click on my object, it has to change to a different object. So I what I'll do is I'm using a random integer. So 
So what is random integer? I have five objects. So from one to five, any object it can choose. Okay. Next, start button. So once I click on start button, sprite one, that is object, it's pointing towards sprite two. So where at all you're getting, you'll get all those things in your direction. So point towards which pointer, what, where you have to set, which angle, everything will be in your direction. So from your direction, you're pointing the sprite one to the sprite two. Then you're setting the speed according to the variable of the speed. So according to that, gravity speed will be calculated and that speed, according to that, it will drop down. If that speed, it will come down. So, so easy it is to make an object to come down. Here, it is going from sprite 1. That is sprite 1 is on top and pointing direction is down. So, it is moving down according to the speed of the uh, calculator. Okay. What does the reset do? So, reset is nothing but making the object to come up again and uh, making the uh, gravity or all those details to zero again. Well, okay, the first thing is making a sprite to come back to the y position zero, so it will go on top. X is in the between, so 150. So again, we are calc we are getting the list, from the list of gravity, we are getting the planet code because once you click on reset, none of the values will be there. So according to the count, so if we are seeing with the value of your uh, what to say, uh, Jupiter. So it will get the planet count of the Jupiter and that from that list. And again, G cal and the speed, the same formula. That gravity and speed you will show it on the respective label. So even now, next when the sprite 2 is clicked. So sprite 2 is your component of your uh, planet. So you're making the sprite over here. That is the first sprite. So as the planets are clicked, the object has to go on top again and your planet count is increased. So each time you click on the planet, next next planet has to come. So that can be done with your planet count increasing. So if the planet count is greater than 8, so once you have reached the uh, Neptune, so again you have to come to Mercury. So if your planet count is greater than 8, you come back to the first cup. Then, you are getting according to the planet count and you calculate your G cal and speed. I'm repeating one second. This is for calculating the speed and uh, gravity calculation, which I thought you on top. Okay. Once you have got all the details, you're displaying the gravity uh, G, sorry, you're displaying the planet name, gravity and the speed. And you say, you set the image of the sprite according to the planet. Okay, and the last thing, and the last thing is your sprite one is colliding to sprite. That is, once the object and the planets are touching each other, so it means you're colliding it. So you'll wait for this many seconds and stop all the sprite. Once the sprite is colliding, when they're colliding to each other, then all sprites are stopping. There is no movements on your sprites. Okay. So today, you have seen the coding of how you can make the movement of an object towards the planet, how you can change the planet on the click, how you can change the object, and how is the gravity calculated, how is the gravity displayed, and the speed calculated according to the respective gravity. Okay. So this completes your application. So for your project, or here you can see the objects and planets. So please change the objects images and try to do the same thing. Okay. Hope everyone has understood. I'll meet you all in the next class. Thank you.